we carry on like this, we can get to probably infinite the next like two hours. And then we can ba go back to playing Conquest. Unfortunately, I would like to have done this with Phoenix Force, but honestly, Phoenix Force seems legit. It's a bit early to say, but based on my initial impressions, feels like the worst season pass card that they've released, at least since I've been playing Snap. Feels very weak. Feels incredibly weak to me. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but I feel like it's the worst. That's a good end. We can go Venom here, and then we can go Zola here. What can you even destroy? There's not much, that's the thing. You can destroy, like, Human Torch. You can maybe destroy Black Panther, and then raise it with that, and get the unreveal ability again. But that's about it. There really isn't a whole lot. Assemble. Ongoing Thanos and Scale Professor. I mean, yeah, it's it's too much, it's way too much work. The payoff, the payoff, kind of can be good, but it's far too much work. It's too difficult, too conditional, and if you do even get the condition, there's no guarantee you'll win the game because it only wins you one lane, and obviously you need to win multiple lanes. So they win, right? Another eight cube game. Nice. Man, this deck is smurfing. This deck is actually smurfing so hard. It's just so many eight cube games. Won five matches back to back with my discard deck. Lockjaw makes discard deck. Don't tell me it's Hella. So we'll try this deck without Galactus. Mm, I mean, if you don't have Galactus, you have to take out Spider-Man too. I'm not sure how the deck would look without Galactus. I mean, you would play like a generic destroy deck, I guess, with Nimrod, which maybe would be fine. I'm not sure. Mjolnir. Okay, so we'll do this, and then we'll play, I guess, Venom plus Carnage for 50 billion points. Mjolnir to me! Mjolnir to me! <laughs> So, Venom plus Deathlock here should be fine. Come on, give, me, give me some cubes. Give me some cubes, Mr. Opponent. You know you want to. Nice. Thanks for the cubes, dude. Mjolnir, to me. Mjolnir, to me. Munch. And 
pew pew. Nice. Another four cuba. Victory. Holy crap, our stats this deck are insane today. Okay, so we have Shuri, but we don't have Kekrod. We need the Kekrod. Ah. Good at the video game. We are good at the video game. Do I want to play Electra? I don't think so. Because if, if I play Electra, I won't be able to play multiple destroy cards in the same turn. Okay, so what do we do here then? We play probably Shuri, probably put our middle, hopefully the... Actually, no, Atlantis, uh, hopefully Atlantis kills it, but we'll see. No, wrong card. I want you to kill the Nimrod, not the Shuri. You Pepe Gas. <clears throat> hey, man, it's hot garbage. True. Actually true. Hulk out with Helen Bishop. What? What? What is this? What are you playing? What the fuck are you playing? Huh? Oh, now you destroy. Ah, now you destroy. Now it wants to destroy things. Okay, dude. <laughs> sure. Nice Shang-Chi. Wait. You Shang-Chi? What if my Nimrod was in the middle? Then you would have just given me more Nimrods. Why would you ever play a Shang-Chi against a Nimrod deck? The thing about wave Bounce is it's a lot better in Conquest mode because in Conquest mode, your opponent gets a sneaky wave on you and then you go, oh, okay, now, now that I know it's there, I'm going to play around it every game. If you play on normal ladder and your opponent, you don't know your opponent's deck and they hit you with a surprise wave on turn five and you weren't expecting it, then yes, you can pretty easily beat, um, you can pretty easily beat bounce with wave. But again, that's only ladder though. Outside of ladder, it doesn't work that well. Okay, so we guarantee get Galactus through here because if he plays a card here, it'll move with Aunt May and my Galactus won't move, which is kind of funny. Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, fuck! It misses the 50-50. Shit! Okay, I didn't think about leader. Leader's kind of cheating. Oh, leader's so cheating, dude. What the fuck? Hmm. Oh. Ah, oh, leaders actually cheats. That's what Professor Jubilee. Okay, never mind. Um, If I played this here, it's not much points. I mean, I guess I could do this plus this, I suppose. It's actually kind of a couple of points. Nice. Ugh. Okay, we're good. We are all Gucci chat. Easiest eight cuba in my life. It's about to be the quickest infinite climb in the history of climbs. Not really, but you know what I mean. All right, so what do we have here? We have cars that do things. 
quantum tunnel. Okay. Last one is quickest. Okay, last one doesn't count though. Uh, I guess we could just play wave on quantum. Or oh, actually, maybe let's go. Ah, uh, I don't know. Okay, let's go we'll do this. Sure, yeah. Mm. Chat, would it be completely troll of me to play Galactus on the vault? That's kind of troll, right? There's no way that will actually work, right, chat? There's no way that actually works. We do it yeah. And then we play... I don't know, whatever lost. Okay. More than 50% of match right now are bots. That benefits me. Unless you have null, then it doesn't benefit me. Alright, he might be playing null. Fuck. Why do we play null chat? What if he's playing null? Chat, I'm scared. Oh wait, what? Wait, no, he can't play null. Wait, what? You played it into the vault with my Nimrods. Wait, I just realized now. Why did she do that? I just realized it doesn't matter because of vault. Why would he do that? So... What do we have here? Shuri, Galactus. Mojo wall is kind of nice in a way. Because it diverts... Ooh, we have Shuri. I was going to say what we could do is we could play Shuri and Mojo wall. Diverts his attention here and then play Galactus somewhere else. But with Shuri Nimrod, I think what we're gonna do rather is play Shuri Nimrod here. We play Shuri here, Nimrod here, and then we play Venom here and Carnage here. Face the might of Asgard, Okay, so Nimrod here, and this should win, right? This combo is just too strong. That was fine. Should have kept was to damage the Nimrod. So it's Venom here and Carnage here, right? Hulk on the right. Mjolnir, to me. Pretty sure it'd be Hulk, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Easy 8 cuber. Let's go. Easiest 8 cubes of my life. Okay, that puts me at what, 96? Victory. Okay, so I guess we'll play a wave and then we'll see from there. So we have the Nimrod. 
fine experience. A koi. I mean, Nimrod on Vormir is not bad if I don't draw the Shuri. I guess I'll do this, and we'll see from there. Avengers! Assemble. I hope they'll reduce the cost of... Yeah, I don't think they're going to reduce the cost, unfortunately. They want... They want, um, basically... Mm -hmm. They basically want the... Spotlight cash be your main way of getting cards in the future. But yeah, well, I don't think they're going to be reducing costs, unfortunately. Ninety-seven chat, we're getting there. Destroy a mid. Just did destroy a mid. Uh, never mind, I went destroy. I mean, hmm. this actually would have worked. What do you just take out of my my Zola? That's kind of not amazing for me. This looks pretty bad. Spider Ham is so valuable. Like, one of the only reasons that this deck even has a chance against this deck is because of Spider Ham, I feel. So we can go Galactus mid, I think. The Shuri is just going to be a uh, smoke and mirrors. He's gonna think I'm gonna play something here. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm gonna go and make him kneel here. Well, I mean, oh god, well, this is gonna be weird. To be fair, he has to play more cards than me, so he has a much higher chance of something getting shot. See? See? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Ch <laughs> <laughs> Wait, four for four? Okay. <laughs> wow, that's very unlucky. Oh, jeez. Poor guy. But yeah, anyway, play the Electra here and then we'll see from there.
bounce again. Jeepers, man. Bounce is so common. Like, just everywhere I look, it's just bounce. Bonk. Um, I think I have to retreat this one. Unless I draw, like... I need to draw, literally, Nimrod right now to have a chance. Or maybe Galactus, but... Yeah. Okay. I don't even know if I've got a chance here, honestly. I might still be just be losing, but let's see. This Electra is annoying. I can't play double Nimrod. Honestly, seven cards in hand and this much power about to come. I don't think I'm winning. Like, okay, Venom here plays for what? 25, 26 points. I get 13 here, so it's 10 here, but I mean, maybe with ne negative zone, maybe this location is pretty garbage for him. Maybe this location is actually garbage enough. Like, negative zone sucks for a destroy deck, ah, uh, for a bounce deck. Hmm. Yeah, so he completely ignores it. Now the question is whether or not he can do 26 points in the middle. And the answer is honestly, quite likely he can, I think. Okay, but if he commits that much onto the left, then maybe not. So I win by one. Nice. Ah, two. Cool. Victory. So, what are we at now? Almost 98. And we have Galactus plus the things that do the things, right? So I'll do this. Then I'll play Cactus on Legulia. Chat, what's the proper pronunciation of this? Actually, not Legulia. It's Leca... Lecugulia? Lechugulia. Lechugulia. How the hell do you pronounce this properly? Lechugulia. Lecha... Lechugia? Let you gear. Let you gear. Okay. Hmm. Thanks for the new soul on stream. The so this is a win. Okay, so we get one more 8 cube win, we are at infinite. That'll be the fastest infinite run I've ever done. Oh, is this the infinite game? Is this the infinite game, chat? I am Iron Man. Is this the game for infinite? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Chat. I believe. Come on! No! Victory. Wait! Oh no, it's fine! Woohoo! It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, chat. We're, we're, we're Gucci. We are Gucci. 
Called back accomplished. Now we go back to playing Conquest. Poggers!